Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a drop cat effect in Photopea. So I've got a little project here that I've set up, it's going to be an inside page of a magazine and I'm going to put a drop cap there on my project, okay? Um, just very quickly, just to, to show you how to do these grid lines, you simply need to make sure that you have view rulers selected and then you can drag on from the top ruler there and from the side ruler these grid lines to allow you to make a grid but i've already done that then i'm going to just use the zoom tool to zoom in on that corner there because that's where i'm going to put my drop cap and then i'm going to click on the type tool which is down the side here and i'm going to click on that point there that intersection and i'm going to drag it across now up here the size of that text for some reason has, has gone to 300 so that's far too big so i'm just going to make that smaller maybe 50 just see what that looks like Make sure you press enter when you change the size of your text. I found that um, some of you are not pressing enter and then, you, and then you're wondering why it won't change. So I'm gonna click inside of there and just type a little bit. Oh, that's far too small. No wonder it, it's too small. Maybe 300 would have been good. Maybe three, make it 300 again. Yeah, okay. I don't need all those letters. I'm actually going to use the letter L, okay? I'm going to use the letter L because just to show you how this works, I'm going to use some Lorem Ipsum text, some dummy text. And the very first letter of the very first sentence is L. So I'm going to copy that text because I'm going to use that in a minute. Okay, go back on here. So now that I have this lovely capital L, I'm just going to highlight it and change it to a colour for my colour scheme. So on my um, project that I'm working on, um, I'm going to use more like a sort of a ready colour. Oh, that's not red. Let me just make it a bit redder. There we go. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I'm now going to use my zoom tool and zoom out. And this is where these grid lines are going to start um, being really helpful because now I'm going to draw or create with a pen tool um, a shape that goes around here but wraps around my drop cap, my new drop cap. So I'm going to do that with a pen tool. So down the side here is the pen tool. If you click and drag, there's two options, but it's just the pen tool, not the free pen. Um, then up here, I've already selected it to be no fill. It usually defaults to red, so I'm going to make it red just to show you what it looks like um, because I'm going to show you how to fix it if that's the case for you because I think it will default red to you, okay? So then what you do is, oh, I've already started to click there. I'm going to click up here. I'm going to start there and I'm going to make my first point on my pen tool there, but then I'm going to go across and in the intersection there, I'm going to click there to make my second point then down here I'm going to click on the intersection there and it's at this point that I want you to see how useful those lines are in helping you create really neat straight lines with your pen tool so I'm going to click on that intersection there then back up to here across but then at this point I'm going to do something a bit fancy I'm going to just click little clicks with my pen tool to go around that L and then this is the final important bit, you need to click on the start point and then without clicking anywhere, because this is where you'll go wrong, don't click on any of these layers, don't click anywhere else, you need to now select the text, the type tool and click inside your new shape, okay? If you start clicking all over the place, your text um, is not going to go inside your new shape. Now, my font is still set to 300. I'm going to lower that down to 50. Press enter. Remember to press enter. My, te my text style, my font style is still set to that fancy font. So I'm going to change it to something more um, sensible for body copy text. And then, because I copied over, remember I went on lorem, getlorem.com, I copied this text just to show you, but you can actually start typing now and it will start to type within this shape. I'm just going to press Control V to show you what that will look like. And the final thing I'm going to do is get rid of that first L on Lorem because I have my L. It's here. There's my drop cap. And that, if I just click off there just to show you what it looks like, there's a drop cap with wrapped text around it that you can use in your next publishing product project. Have fun, everyone!